Hey guys, this is Barbara from Barbara Journals and Inspire Paper and Designs. And today I want to show you how to create a drop shadow effect, not only with the letters, but also with the image as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a page and I'm gonna go over here and select two fonts. So let's use this one. And then I want to use a handwriting one. So let's go here. Let's type in handwriting, Let's see what pops up. Wait a minute, didn't do what I wanted to do, hold on. I know what I wanted to do, there we go. So I just did a duplicate and then we're going to select this. And then I typed in, I wanna show you first. So when I duplicated this and then now I'm clicking on this and I go to Webner, Webnar. It shows me different options here. So I'm gonna choose handwriting because see how this kind of groups them all together depending on what you want. I'm gonna say handwriting and see what pops up. And let's do apricots. All right. So let's let me see. I think I'm gonna do um and I'm gonna type in simply. And then we're going to make this gorgeous. Let me see. I might. We'll see if I want to keep the um, exclamation point. So I'm dragging this out, and then I'm going to drag this out a little bit too. But I have an idea of where I want it to sit. I think we might want it right here. Let's say depend depends on how how much I want how I want to play with it. All right, I kind of want, I'm gonna pull it this way so that I can get the Y where I want it to be. All right, so we have Simply Gorgeous. And then I'm going to click on the first one, click on Effects and click Shadow. So these are the different um, features or the different changes you can make to the shadow. So you can offset it. See how I was pulling the shadow all the way back? You can do that, but I'm gonna leave it on 50. Direction is at 45, You a negative 45. You can always change it. See how it's going around in a circle. But most people usually keep it at like negative 45. So I'm gonna try to see if I can put it back. If I'm not moving too fast. All right, there we go. Blur. So you can change how blurry you want it. So see how it's getting real blurry? I might keep that at, let me see what it looks like at 50. Let's keep it at 50. And then transparent. So you can make it as thick or simply go away. Um, let's keep it at, let me see, what does 50 look like? Let's keep it at 50. And then you can change the color. So let's say I wanna change it to match this. I can go here, effects, and I can change it based on the document colors i can make it blue so see how it's black with like a little shadow of blue or i can make it gold but what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it at gold and i'm actually going to change the black and make that blue and it looks like that and i'm going to do the same thing for gorgeous um, for time's sake i'm just going to leave the settings the way it is and i'm just going to change the um color. So we're going to leave that gold and we're going to make that blue. All right. So we have Simply Gorgeous and then I'm just going to group it together. All right. And if I want to pull it, the sides of it, I can. And you might hear the rain in the background because it's um, starting to pour now. So that might be um, what you hear in the background. So that's how you can do the text. So now I'm going to show you the trick for the image. So let's go select our image. I'm gonna go to uploads and the image I actually got from Muchka and I'm hoping I pronounced it right. It's M-U-J-C-A. I'll leave a link below. Um, and you know what? I think I want to turn this because I want to make her big. So I'm gonna turn this at a 90 degree angle and put it off to the side and I'm gonna make her a little bit bigger. And let me make my screen a little bigger so you can see what, what's going on. Oops, that did not help. Okay, that might've helped too much. <laughs> we'll see in a second. Uh, let's keep it at 50. 
just so that you can see it at 50. So then I'm going to move her over a bit. I'm going to move this up a bit and I can actually drag this in so it's not taking up the whole thing. All right, there she is. And I think I can a little bit more. All right. So if we wanted to, we could make this, you know, smaller. So that way we're highlighting her. But I don't want, I, I want you to see all of her. So that's the only reason why I don't want to drag it out. Because I really love her outfit and I want you to see all of it. All right. So we have, um, we have her. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you have Canva Pro, which I strongly encourage you to get, you can do this very, very easily. Whereas if you have the um, free version of Canva, it's a couple of more steps that you have to take, have to take. So with Canva Pro, um, it, there is a fee for it, a monthly fee. But if you click the link below this video, you can try it free for 30 days. I highly recommend it because with Canva Pro, there's so many new features that's coming out that you're only able to do, especially when it comes to video. They're really stepping up their game with that. So I encourage you to um, check Canva Pro out. Again, I'll leave a link below so that you can get it free for 30 days to try it out. So I have her. So what I'm going to do first, because I already have her here, all I have to do is just double click. I mean, click on her again. So see how it made two. Then what I'm going to do is go to effects. And I'm going to use the duo tone. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the one that says mono. All right. And I'm going to hit apply. So with mono, you see it makes it dark. She is right here. So next I'm going to do after I make her dark. I'm going to go to adjust and I'm going to make her blurry. Now I'm only not, I'm not making her super blurry because I want to make sure that I match her perfectly behind here. So I'm going to drag her up. It's about here-ish. We'll see in a second. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to position her to the back. So see how I position her to the back? So now what I want to do, I'm going to drag this in just so that I can make sure I'm only touching the one in the back. But see how now it creates a blur. And so all I have to do is just line it up. And if I want to make it a little bit bigger, I just pull on the sides to make it bigger. Um, if you want, if you want it to go the other way, of course, you can just pull it to go the other way. And just drag it down so that it can go the other way. Whatever works for you. All right. But see how it gives now a shadow behind her, which I'm absolutely feeling right now. And again, you can make this as sharp as you want it. So you can go over here and you might want to make, you know, you might want to make it a little bit sharper. You can definitely do that. I suggest that you don't make it so sharp that you can't that you start seeing um, the print again, because the whole point is for it to give off a shadow. Right. So that is how you would do that. And there you go. So now you have a shadow not only on your image, but also on the words. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future trainings. Also, feel free to share um, this with someone you know that is interested in learning more about Canva and how they can use Canva for their business, not only for their creations, but also for their businesses. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day and talk to you real soon.